four days out. We are beyond close. It's touching distance. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very tired, but it has to be done. Right, so so-called special thing of the week is the peak week. What do you do differently? Why does everyone get so excited about it? You're nervous about it? Do stuff differently? Change things in the last week? I'll tell you what you can do. I'm gonna go through today what I'm gonna be doing around this week and around my shows because the next video you see after this one will be the first show I compete. So, warm up today. I'm going to take you through the day and show you what I'll be doing around peak week. Not a lot of changes, but I want to go through with you my to-do list. First on the to-do list in peak week, train legs about a week before I actually go on stage. I'm not really doing legs, just obviously might do that for the video, of course. Do it for the, do it for the YouTube. Train legs a week before because I don't want to have DOMS when I go on stage. I want to be able to tense my legs without any pain. So I've really done my last leg session. That was last Saturday. That was Saturday just gone. Got DOMS now, but before, before it's time to uh, step on the stage, they be nice and fresh. So on my to-do list of peak week, that's number one. <laughs> To-do list number two, training will not change at all. I'm still going to do my same routine that I have been doing throughout the whole prep. I'm still going to be lifting as much as I can, hitting my numbers, hitting my rep ranges, hitting my sets. Um, but what I will do is I will have a rest day the day before so I won't train. And then two days before will be like just a full upper body circuit, but I would only go to about 80% of my maximum effort. Again, just like the leg train, I don't have DOMS on the day. I want to be able to pump up, I want to feel fresh. Uh, I want to feel good before I go on stage, I want to be aching. So towards the end of the week, it's more about just taxing the muscles. But yeah, pretty much stay the same right up until a couple of days out, will it? To do list number three. I will not be eating any foods that my body is not familiar with digesting. So, for example, breakfast, I got me usual me oats, got me some Hershey's sugar free chocolate on there, some syrup, got some Greek yogurt, a little bit of jelly, and some peanut butter, rice cakes, and a strawberry jam. I don't want to risk anything that our body isn't used to having because I don't want to cause like an upset stomach or just feel a bit bloated, for example. So, Number three, I'm eating foods that my body has been used to digesting. The day before will be a rest day. I, to-do list number four, by the way, um, I will not train the day before the show just so I do feel fresh on the day. And um, I don't want to have any like muscles, really bad muscle soreness, anything like that, just so before I go on stage, I can pump up, my, I feel fresh. And um, yeah, just so I have the energy as well. But yeah, the day before, I will not train. I'll just take it nice and easy, enjoy the trip up to York, get my meals inside me, and then go and get my spray tan, and then the next day, do what I can do. Even though I've already done this one, but to-do list number five was trim. I need to make sure that I look presentable and smart on the day because I'm doing a fitness modeling show. So just to shape it up a little bit, make sure it's a nice length. And yeah, that is on my to-do list of peak week. All right, then the obvious one is to-do list number six, to make sure I'm prepared for the day. So packing posing shorts, packing spare posing trunks, just in case, you never know. Uh, making sure my food's prepped on time, taking my body hair off for the tan. Little things really, just make, packing the essentials, making sure I've got enough food with me, because one thing you do not want to run out is food. Um, don't know how I'm going to feel on the day, but also foods that I'm familiar with eating is important. So I'm going to be probably having, I'm going to show you here, a hell of a lot of sweet potato. 
And I'm also, before I go on stage, recently of late I've been having a Snickers bar. Just because it helps me get a pump before I go on stage, just get some sugars in me. And then in the morning, I push have a couple of meals um, before I actually step on stage. And I will just judge it all at the time of how I feel on the day. That is it. So as you can see, there's nothing, there's no special, I think it's very over, overrated peak week. I don't think there's anything, like you're not gonna change, you're not gonna suddenly drop 10% body fat in one week. If you're not lean enough now, then you won't be lean enough. Um, if, if it's worked for you for 12 weeks, in my case, if it's worked this past 12 weeks, then why would I change anything so stupidly dramatically in the last week? So it's just about doing a few things that obviously are essential, don't do anything too silly, and just try and relax and enjoy the day. Okay, before I leave you, I'm going to be discussing some more stuff on the sofa, some camera talks and one-to-one real talk so just before i leave you i want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has supported me throughout this 12 weeks it's been like i say last video it's been kind of a blur like it's just it's suddenly just come along so quickly and everything just seems to be coming together i feel lean i feel ready um i could not have worked any harder if i tried so whatever happens on the on the days in the, over the next few weeks i know in my heart's of hearts i could not have done any more than what i have done impossible so i can go on stage being very happy with myself and that effort that i put into it obviously this will be the last video before i actually show you the three weekends um i'm going to vlog every one of them in how much detail i don't know because i might want to just really focus on the day but i will definitely show you most of this stage footage if i can get it uh, and then just show you little bits around the day and what i'll be doing if you want to keep up with me on how we're getting on, find out the results quicker than you would on YouTube, you can hit me up on my other social media accounts, all up here now, because I'm going to be posting it regularly throughout the day, keeping everyone updated about what's happening. Um, and yeah, now you're going to see my, because I'm, I'm going to upload this video, you're going to watch this Thursday, if you watched it on Thursday, it's going to go up Thursday, so this is my Thursday's weigh-in and physique update, the last physique update before I actually go on stage, because I can't do it Friday, because I have to leave for York very early because it's going to be about a six hour journey. Um, so I'm going to get another video out, another video up before I leave. So again, thank you so, so much. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I know it's a little bit short, but a very hectic week, but I still wanted to get our video out there, something useful. So I just want to explain a little bit about prep and what I'm doing. As you can see in the final weeks, it's nothing going to be too different. Um, but what I'm going to be doing around the other shows so I'm gonna have like three peak weeks back to back and I probably won't change anything dramatically. I might have a, in fact, I might have a high carb day after the show because be so depleted. And then you do the same process into the other shows, nothing too different. Um, if anything drastically changes, then I will obviously let you know in the vlogs, but yeah, probably nothing different. Just try and go into it and do the best I can. Um, thank you again and I will, in the next video, I'll see you for the first show of three.